Welcome to Boo Brandells. Today we're going to be looking at the scope system. The scope system is a cooling system designed and developed to dispense cold refreshing draft beer in high ambient temperature outlets. So basically it's the answer to all your problems. If there's an account with no cellar cooling, restaurants, pop-up bars etc, this system will deliver a cold refreshing pint to your customers. Shortly we'll be looking at how to install the scope system. First Let's have a look at the parts that make up the actual system. We're using our high performance refrigeration units. Different range of coolers to suit different sizes of accounts. So we can use a shelf cooler, a mini cooler or a mini cooler or our full blown integral cooler. So we have a cooler to fit all circumstances. Coolers, benefits of using our coolers, we have a faster pull down time and recovery time. And this means it helps with your throughput of the beer etc. We have intelligent thermostat with programmable working hours, helps to work with the times of the outlet when it's open, etc. We're using a natural R290 refrigerant, which means we've got zero ozone depletion at the end of life, so it's got all the green credentials that you could need. And again, the serviceable components, um, all the units are interchangeable, etc. So that was the coolers. Let's now have a look at the other component parts that make up the scope system. It's coaxial python. As you can see, it's a tube and tube system. This system enables us to maintain dispense temperatures of 3 to 5 degrees in high ambient at temperature accounts. Coaxial fitting. These fittings, which we will have a look at in closer detail um, on the install process. And the male, the main component of the system is the inline fob stop. This fits between the John Guest fitting and the kit connector. It enables us to keep everything in line in the system. So now let's just take a closer look at how we make these fittings and the connections on the fittings. We've stripped the python back to reveal the tube and tube. We need to cut the outer tube to get to the length of what we require. In your kit comes this special cutting tool, it's directional, it's got the arrows on. So if we put that on the outer, push it in, it's just a couple of turns and off it comes. Which then reveals our inner three eighths. But the key is we need to ensure that this is the correct length. In your pack comes this little collet tool. It's a release tool uh, to release the pipe if needed from the fittings but more importantly it's a cutting aid. If you look at it you can see two little marks on there. And we need to ensure that the pipe is cut to this. Failure to do so could result in the system leaking and be going back into the cooler. Place the collet tool onto the pipe. A good tip is if you've got slack on the pipe, just make sure that the pipe is fully in before you mark and cut the pipe. So once we've made our mark, um, ideally a little bit of pen on there to show where the cut is. Take off our tool, make the cut where you've laid your mark, like so. At this point, to aid the, the pipe to one of the fitting, it's a good, it is actually a good point if you've got some food grade lubricant. All this means is a tiny little bit of lubricant. I just place some around the outer pipe and a little bit around three eighths. This just aids the pipes going into the fitting. Once you've made the cooler end off, you obviously cannot move this pipe in and out. So you're relying on the friction fit and the pressure of the outer coaxial pushing it home. 
So we line it up, it's a simple case of push the fitting in. We can tell when the fitting's in because we can see the outer coaxial which has come up against its stop and I can see that the 3 8 has also come up against its stop. Again, if any of these and you can't see that they've come up to the stops, you've got a potential for both leak on your product and a leak on your water. So it's essential that you check these. Let's now take a closer look at the system. Firstly on the install, what I would always say is connect your cooler end because your cooler is going to be pushed under the under the counter at some point. Um, if you make your other ends up first, it's going to be really difficult to make the fittings on the cooler. The first area we'll have a look at on this is the top pump. This is an area of great confusion. Um, people trying to use the return on the top pump um, for the water going back into the bath. We do not use the return, so leave the red cap on it. The return water comes back into the cooler via the coaxial python through the fitting and back into the bath. So we've got at this here, it's set up at the minute for a two product. So our flow comes out from the top pump. We need to split it because we need to go two ways. First, we're down to the keg connector, which then returns back up again through the coaxial into the bath. The other side, we're pumping out, we're going to the tap, coming back through the coaxial fitting into the bath. Looking at the keg connector side, as you can see we've got the keg connector, we've got the inline fob and we've got our coaxial fitting. So if again, if we think of the flow which is coming from um, our top pump, as you can see it's flowing into the keg connector, coaxial fitting, it comes through and then we are using the coaxial pipe to return it back to the cooler. It's also pertinent to make sure that you mark up your lines then there's no confusion or getting the wrong connection at the cooler side. Looking at the bar end, as we can see, um, another coaxial fitting. This splits our 3 8 line which is going to the bath to the tap um, from the water recirc. So again, as you can see, the water is coming up. We've now got this terminated with a U-bend. It's going inside special fitting, which again, Drops into the coaxial python, flows down to the cooler, and returns back into the bath. One area which I've said is most necessary to check once the installation is complete, before you put the armor flex on to cover all the um, joints and fittings, etc., there's two tests that we need to do before we do any of that. Firstly, we need to do a pressure check on the system. Um, this is very important to ensure that all the connections to the coaxial fittings are correct. So the way we do that is, before we connect to the bar valve, we take our pressure gauge. Connect it onto the system. Our keg connector, if we then put that onto the gas ring main, onto a cleaning bottle, cleaning socket, whatever it is, Put the kick connector in. We will then get pressure on the gauge. What we're looking to do then is turn the gas off and watch the needle. It should maintain the pressure. If it doesn't maintain that pressure, then there is a leak on one of the fittings which will need to be rectified before sealed. We also need to check. that the flow return of water is um, not leaking as well. So in this case, it's just a case of turning the cooler on, plugging in the top pump, and watch the flow and return, checking again on your fittings for no leaks. If you're happy with no leaks on the line with the pressure, and you're happy with no water leaks, etc., on the coaxial fittings, we can then now go ahead and insulate and take the pythons up. It's as easy as that. So that's all about the scope system, how we do the installation. Hope that's been useful for you guys. Um, if you've got any questions, please do give us a ring on our Blackpool number 01253 501 800.
Thanks for your time.